Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. Today, we're going to talk about a trade we just got in. It's a 182G, it's an R Pod, 2014. Now, for more information on this particular RV or any other camper, please be sure that if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, I'll get with you. And on top of that, you will receive my exclusive offer which when you get here, I'll explain what that is. I'm the only one here out of 16 sales guys that offers it to my customers. So appreciate you watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my uh, account, please do. I also have uh, how-to videos as well as product recommendations. But let's get on to this 182 R-Pod. As you can see on the back side of this thing, you have, it's kind of like a kitchen area and so forth. Um, doesn't have a grill or any setup, but Look at how big this sink is. This has a huge sink for cleaning things up and so forth. Of course, then you have, um, this could be used, you can ice, ice things down here if you want because it does have a little uh, drain hole, so it makes it nice. And then these other two are just little small um, holders. You can do whatever you'd like with those. This does have the stereo control back here, as you can see. You have lighting back here, and of course the speakers are back here in the back. And of course you can see how they have it set up with uh, different uh, configurations so that you can hang things back here, keep things stored. It looks like you'd also hang a TV back here. It would just go right on top of that. So you'd probably take the one from inside and just bring it back out here if you wish to do that. So this is the back side. Now, this one has awesome um, storage which I'm going to get to as well. Look at you have a little small hitch back here so if you want to have a bike rack as well as you have a propane connection so if you wanted to put a grill back here. Comes with a spare tire as you can see the spare tire is back in here but look at all the space that's in here. You got all that space there which you can get to from inside looks like and then of course it goes through to the other side. This R-Pod does have a slide out. It's a small one but it is um, it is nice nonetheless as you can see here this is the other side for your storage on the door side you're gonna see of course you're gonna have the outside outlet like you normally would this also has a black tank rinse for your for, well, after you dump your black tank and that's right here that way you don't have to drag a hose inside to go ahead and um, do things makes it much much easier as you can see, as you come in the door, you got little storage areas. There's your TV on the inside. Also a place where you check your tanks. Get on in here so we can, place where you to check your tanks here. Turn your water pump on, turn your water heater on, as well as your AM, FM, CD, stereo with a DVD player. Of course, you can see the air conditioning. This one, the 182G, this has the bunk beds in the back here. And it does not look like you can get to that underneath storage from the inside. So you see good size uh, beds. This top one does fold up. So if you wanted to, you could fold it up. And it just uh, gives you a little more room if it was just going to be one person sleeping on, on the bottom. You can see in the slide out, that is where your kitchen is going to be. So you have um, your two burner cooktop, your sink with the high, high rise faucet. And that does have the faucet that does pull down. Lighting, you can see they added some um, storage there. Storage above the refrigerator. And of course, this is a, a three-way refrigerator. So you're going to have uh, the 110 propane or battery. Up in the front, you can see right now we have it set as a bed, but there's a freestanding table, and that's a U-shaped kind of dinette for you, which makes it nice, but that makes a nice big bed. You see they even have hooks in here so you can hang your keys and, and and what, what not, you can see speakers in the ceiling. And then of course, the bathroom, this is what we call a wet bath. It does have a power vent fan. Nice thing with that is, you know, you're cooking inside, you can turn that on, open one of the windows, it's gonna pull the air on through. You see the uh, sink in the shower here, uh, shower pan there, and of course the toilet, which is back over here. So this is again, the R-Pod. It is the 182. G, for any more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure to ask for Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, when you call, when you stop by, 
or if you email. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly.